Hey everybody, it's your boy LaBea Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like, and subscribe to the channel. You guys know your support means everything to me. I'm back to my indies. I love my indies. You guys know that I love giving a platform to indie and niche perfumers that may not have your attention. I want to put them on the map. I want to uh, grab grab your attention and put them in front of your faces so that you know what's out there and I'm back at it today. Today I'm going to do a review on Fog and Tree and their fragrance Redwood Coast. Now this is a 15 ml bottle. This is a roll-on. Uh, the company did supply this for my review. As you guys know all opinions are my own. I don't do favorable reviews for products in the mail. I just you know don't do that. I, I will never do that. Um, you get what you get with me and I'm going to give you the honest truth. So Fog and Tree, they are out in California. All their fragrances are made in California. The notes for Redwood Coast are cedar and sandalwood, fresh coastal fog and vegetation, and hemp. Now, I know what you guys may be thinking. It's not weed. I'm not high right now. I am rather relaxed. However, I'm not, you know, it's not that. Stop. You guys know the difference. Um, so a note from the brand is that this transports you on a hike through the redwood forests of Northern California. Yes. Yes, it does. Because this is a very photorealistic fragrance. Um, the company says that this is a blend of exotic California botanicals infused with calming cannabis terpenes. Now, what cannabis terpenes are... Uh, they occur naturally in, they're naturally occurring compounds, I'm sorry, that are produced by every plant on earth. And they're used in aromatherapy uh, for medicinal benefits. Now, again, I know what you're thinking. It's not that. <laughs> okay? It's not that. So, I do have it on my hand right now. I'll give you another roll on there. This is highly concentrated oil, EDP concentration, and what I get... From the jump, I actually think that I am hiking through the redwoods in Northern California. I, I'm, I'm tired. My shoes, my, my, my shoes are dirty. My crutches are filled with dirt and, and pine needles. Um, yeah, this is taking me on a hike. Boy, let me tell you. Um, it's very photorealistic. I can actually see the fog rolling in over the branches over the over the tops of the trees in the early morning um before it gets way too hot because y'all know that california is just oppressive most of the year and so um i, I hope it's not that oppressive in the forest because i i think the tra trees would uh lend themselves to some shade and some cover but yeah the rest of the state whoo y'all are hot Y'all are just hot. Um, so I can actually see the fog rolling in over the branches of the trees in the early morning. Um, I will say, if you're not a nature lover, you may not get this. I, know, I love nature sometimes. I'm more of a city type person, um, especially right now since I'm living in the D.C. area. I'm more of a city person, so I don't necessarily get it, but... If you're not a nature lover, you may not get this. I think this, in my opinion, this fragrance is more of a regional type fragrance. If you understand California, if you've lived in California your whole life, if you have visited uh, the Redwoods, um, you will definitely get this fragrance. You will get the nuances. You will get the smell. You will get, you know, um, the vegetation and the, and the botanicals and things like that. For someone like myself who's only been to California two or three times and who's never been out to the forest i can appreciate it for its creativity and artistry but i don't actually get it because i'm not a part of that of that region if that makes any sense um it's certainly going to be appreciated fully by those who know the area who have grown up there who are familiar with the area but for me it's just a pleasant smell um, so I don't actually get the full nuance of the fragrance as a whole. So for someone like, like me, uh, it doesn't really fit me. Um, that doesn't mean it's not a good fragrance. It just doesn't fit where I am uh, geographically right now. So I don't actually get 
the nuances as someone else might. Um, that being said, it is incredibly unique. I've never been to the forest in California, so I've never actually truly smelled a fragrance of the forest. Um, so that is unique to me because I actually like the smell. I just don't know where I would wear it here. Now, this is a fragrance I might only wear if I visit California, but here it might seem a little out of place, um, but it is unique. It's also linear. It's not taking me really on a trip, on an olfactive journey. I'm just sitting in front of a tree in California. And I, you know, hey, while that's good, I, I like trees, um, I, I don't feel like it's taking me on a journey as it may someone who's more familiar with the area. Like I said, someone who's more familiar with the area and the region could tell you that, oh, this, re this smell reminds me of this part of the forest or this part of the forest or this part of the forest where it has, you know, a stream going by or things like that. So I'm not really getting that in the linear fashion of the fragrance. And that's kind of a downer. But like I say, try it. it. It is a must try. In my opinion, it's a must try. If you like the forest, if you like nature, I think it's a must try for you. And I will link the uh, website down below in the description. However, for me, it's just uh, ho-hum. Um, this 15 mil rollerball, let's go over the price, $68. Now, this is not a bad price for a rollerball because this is highly concentrated juice. It's gonna last you quite some time. The rollerball, uh, you can control how much you apply. Definitely, uh, it will last you quite a while. So 68 bucks, I don't believe is a bad price at all. I believe it's definitely in the wheelhouse of affordability. You're not gonna get you know, ripped off or anything like that by the company. So I think this is a must try. And if you pay $68 for the rollerball or something like that, I think it is well worth the money to try it out. Um, the performance on my skin, seven and a half hours. Uh, it's not too long because it's a pleasant fragrance. I just, I, I don't mind wearing it. I just don't necessarily fully get it, like I said before. So while it is a pleasant fragrance and I don't mind that it lasts as long as it does, seven and a half, eight hours on my skin, um, it doesn't really, it, it's got decent projection, but it's not a, a really good projector. You're not gonna smell it six feet away like some fragrances. Um, so the performance is there as well. If, if you like those these types of fragrances, the performance is actually very, very good. Uh, so definitely take that into consideration as well. Um, for me, it's, it's an okay fragrance. I might only wear this once or twice a year if I ever visit California again, uh, but it's a decent, decent fragrance and, and it's enjoyable for the relaxation properties um, that it affords me, especially in certain times like these. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the review guys. Uh, Fog and Tree, Redwood Coast, I believe it's a must try. Like I said, I'll leave some uh, information down below in the description. You guys know I always give you the real deal. So if I like it, I'm going to tell you I like it. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. If I don't necessarily get it, I'm going to tell you that as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely give this a try, guys. I think it's a must try. If you're a nature lover, check this out. Uh, it's definitely there. I, again, I want to thank uh, Fog and Tree for uh, sending this for my review. Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for... Um, contributing to my channel, contributing to my vision. Um, thank you. Thank you. I, I truly do appreciate you guys. I know times are hard right now and companies are finding it difficult to uh, possibly gift uh, samples or fragrances to reviewers like myself. I understand it. Trust me, I get it. But you guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Like I said, go down below, like, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.